BBC News with Emily Thomas. A government airstrike in Myanmar is believed to have killed at least 50 people. Survivors say the armed forces dropped a bomb and fired from a helicopter on a village near Sagang, an area of opposition support. Video online shows dismembered bodies and buildings on fire. The Philippines and the United States have launched their largest ever joint military drills. These come as Chinese regional assertiveness grows. The United Nations says the Taliban in Afghanistan have forced it into having to make an appalling choice on whether to continue working in the country. It said it could not comply with a Taliban ban on women working for the UN in Afghanistan. Switzerland's president, Alain Berset, says the government had no choice but to order the takeover of the troubled bank Credit Suisse by its rival UBS so as to prevent a financial crisis. He was addressing an emergency session of the federal parliament that's scrutinising the merger. Britain's main business umbrella group, the CBI, has dismissed its director general, Tony Danker, following a probe into allegations of workplace misconduct. There have been several sexual assault allegations against CBI officials, but the organisation said Mr Danker was not the subject of these. The International Monetary Fund is predicting that interest rates in major economies will return to pre-pandemic levels. Currently, central banks worldwide have been raising rates to combat inflation. The U.S. aid charity Catholic Relief Services says two of its staff have been killed in the Amhara region of north-central Ethiopia. Recent days have seen massive anti-government protests in the region by people opposing an order to dissolve regional special forces. An Egyptian official has rejected claims that Cairo planned to secretly produce and supply Russia with 40,000 rockets. The claim was included in a leaked file of Pentagon documents. BBC News.